Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is another edition of Reading Through the Bible. On this episode of Reading Through the Bible, we're going to be looking at Philippians chapter 4. Therefore, my brothers, whom I love and long for, my joy and crown stands firm thus in the Lord, my beloved. Exhortation, encouragement, and prayer. I entreat Eudea, and I entreat Sinche to agree in the Lord. Yes, I ask you also, true companions, help these women who have labored side by side with me in the gospel together with Clement and the rest of my fellow workers whose names are in the book of life. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Let your reasonableness be known to everyone. The Lord is at hand. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything be prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be known to God. And peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. What you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, practice these things and the God of peace will be with you. God's Provision I rejoice in the Lord greatly that now at length you have received your concern for me. You were indeed concerned for me, but had no opportunity. Not that I am speaking of being in need, for I have learned in whatever situation I am to be content. I know how to be brought low, and I know how to be abound. In any and every circumstance, I have learned the secret of facing plenty and hunger, abundance and need. I can do all things through him which strengthens me. Yet it was kind of you to share my trouble. And you, Philippians, yourselves know that is the beginning of the gospel when I left Macedonia. No church entered into partnership with me in giving and receiving except you only. Even in Thessalonica, you sent me help for my needs once and again. Not that I seek the gift, but I seek the fruit that increases to your credit. I have received full payment and more. I am well supplied, having received from Epiditus the gifts you sent, a fragrance offering, a sacrifice acceptable and pleasing to God. And my God will supply every need of yours, according to his riches and glory in Christ. To our God and Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. Final greetings. Greet every saint in Christ Jesus. The brothers who are in me greet you. All the saints greet you, especially those of Caesar's household. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you in spirit. So this chapter is talking about focusing our minds on things that are good and wonderful. Our mindset should be focused on Christ. The things that Christ did on earth The things that Christ stands for, that's what we need to do on earth. Also, with other brothers and sisters in Christ, we should be kind and loving to them. And then we also need to learn to pray in every situation. So whether we're going through a good time or a bad time, whether we're suffering or we're having abundance, any time that we have in life, we need to pray for it. So if you are having a great day, thank God. If you're having a terrible day, pray to God that he will give you peace. It's really important to focus on the Lord each and every day because he will get us through. Thank you for listening to this edition of Reading Through the Bible. We'll start on chapter 3 next.